Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna. And today we have our September Book of the Month box. Books are heavy. So we have actually had these for a couple of weeks. And I honestly don't remember what is inside, what I chose for our boxes. But if you don't know what Book of the Month is, it is a monthly book subscription service where you pay, I think, $16.99 or $17.99 a month. And every month you get to choose a book for them to send to you. These are brand new and early release hardcover books. And they are amazing. They have great selections and they will have from five to seven for you to choose from, from all different genres. And then of course you can add on as well. So I think I got five, which is the max you can get <laughs> in both of our boxes this month because I'm telling you the selections were crazy. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's see what I picked out. Cause y'all know I didn't pick out none of these. They also do have audiobooks, so you can use your credit that you pay for every month to use it on an audiobook as well, which we haven't done yet, but that's a very new and interesting choice as well. Hey, I got big sword! Oh no. Yeah, so I hit, because you know, I do all the challenges, I hit the Shelf Slayer this month on your account, and we got another sword, which I got mine last month, and it is huge. And I... Last year we had, I did a side by side of both rewards from each year. Last year was a bookmark. I think this is a letter opener actually, because there's no like, um, the, like the other sword has like a tab yeah. that you can put it in your book, which is amazing. But I think this is more like a letter opener, possibly, but it's really fun. So yes, you, I got a sword. You got a big one. Um, I'm also going to leave our link down below if you want to check them out for yourself. It will really help us out a lot. So if you haven't tried them and you're interested, Definitely click that link and check them out. All right. What have you got? It says, keeping books safe since 1926. That's a long, long time. time. <laughs> Almost 100 years. All right. So right on top is going to be our actual book selections uh, for the month. So do you want to go first? Okay. I heard about this one. Who did I hear about this one from? Um, a lot of people chose this one this month. This is the thriller option, and it is The Stranger Upstairs. It is a debut novel, and it is by Lisa M. Matlin. A quick take. Reader beware. Renovating a haunted house in order to save a failing marriage might lead to unintended consequences. And as an unreliable narrator, there's marriage issues, a haunted house, and suburban drama. It says, a gruesome history, a hostile neighborhood... A new owner with a shocking secret. Welcome to Blackwood House. And I love this cover. I love the colors on it. And I will admit, like, a couple of these that I chose were based on the cover. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so, that is that book. So, my book pick this month is You Again by Kate Goldbeck. And this is one that I picked because of the cover. I mean, it's so fall and it is so beautiful. So, what is this one? Okay. This is a debut as well. Ooh, nice. In this winsome ode to New York City and second or third chances in love, an unlikely pair learn how to do a trust fall right. Okay. It's 400 plus pages. It has multiple viewpoints, salacious and LGBTQ plus themes. And inside it says, can they stop hating each other long enough to fall in love? And I thought I heard this being compared to like when Harry met Sally. So this will be really fun. And I'm in all the fall that this cover is giving. Like I was so excited to get it just for the cover. Um, and I believe it's a romance. Yes. So awesome. Okay. Ooh. The Intern by Michelle Campbell. I don't think it actually comes out until the first week in October. It is a legal thriller. And it says, an ambitious judicial intern learns far more than legal theory in this thrilling tale of crime, power, and corruption. It's a fast read, non-linear timeline, multiple multiple viewpoints, and cat and mouse. So, I'm excited for that one. All and the right. cover looks a little spooky. A little spooky? Yes. It's spooky, spooky. Okay. My next pick, these are the add-ons now. Um, the Connollys of County Down by Tracy Lang. Now, this is one I actually got from my library, and I loved it, so I wanted to own it. It's a very short read as well, but I really enjoyed the story. So, what does it actually say on there? 
In this moving tale about forgiveness, loyalty, and love's limits, one family tries to keep it together, together. It's emotional, inspirational, multiple viewpoints, and family drama. So this one actually we start with, oh, we're following three, three siblings, um, two sisters and a brother. At the beginning of the book, one of the sisters is being released from prison. And what she do? <laughs> you have to read to find out. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes down. And for someone, uh, I don't read a lot of literary fiction. I think this is literary fiction or contemporary fiction. Um, but this one was really hard hitting. And I loved how the title comes into play in this book. Um, I just really related to it having siblings myself and it was just a really quick read but really impactful. I think I gave it five stars. I loved it. Bright Young Women by Jessica Knoll. It says thrills and chills. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is a crime fiction. Oh, another crime fiction. I'm loving crime fiction, by the way. This one I purchased because of the cover. Again, I don't know what it's about. It says, in this piercing portrait of a bygone era, a vicious serial killer targeting young women strikes fear into a nation. Multiple viewpoints, nonlinear timeline, feminists, and real life characters. Hmm. So, and I think this one comes out as of filming like in a week. Ooh, it's inspired by a real life sorority targeted by America's first celebrity serial killer. Oh, well, that's, that's interesting. That's gonna, I, I know that one. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> so this is inspired by it, which is really, really cool. That'd be good. All right. All right. So my next add-on is a book called Family Lore by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, this was a selection for the month of August. I've been hearing a lot of great things about, so I decided to pick it up for myself. So what does that say? It says magical realism. Well, Ooh. first of all, magic is not real. <laughs> Okay. So well, how can it there be a genre called magical realism? Boy, I'm just okay. When an anthropologist puts her own family under the microscope, she uncovers plenty of secrets, drama, and magic. It's got multiple viewpoints, non-linear timelines. See, that's how you say that. <laughs> family drama, and it's literary. So this one, like one person in this family can predict the day someone is going to die and so with that knowledge she decides to have like a living funeral for herself um and things happen that's basically all i know so that's like it's all realistic it's not like fantasy magical stuff it's, it's like magical realism magic not real <laughs> oh, gosh. i don't i don't understand ready player two by Ernest Klein. This is a sci-fi. This is uh, several years old, I believe. Um, and this is the sequel to Ready Player One, which I read a couple of months ago and absolutely loved. Now, this one I did also get from the library because I've heard mixed things about the sequel because it picks up basically right where the first one left off. And we're following the main character from the first book after he uh, claims the prize of winning the Oasis and controlling this billion dollar empire in this world uh, set like 20 years into our future and I really enjoyed it so I definitely wanted to, to pick it up and so all it says it's it's the long-awaited sequel for Reddit Player One famous author quest buzzy in second in a series which is the second and final in the series but I wanted my books to match and I loved it so I bought it Okay. Okay, so my next add-on is by Catherine Center. So I'm assuming it's a romance or a literary fiction. And it's How to Walk Away. This was a book from 2018 that um, I've read several of Catherine Center's books. And this is one of the few that I haven't. That book of the month has. So I know all my Catherine Center books match, which I love. Um, so what does this one say? It's a romance. A heartwarming story of a young woman forced to reckon with... What and who truly matters in life. It's romance, it's inspirational, emotional, and family drama. Hey, Taylor Jenkins Reid said, Ooh. I picked up How to Walk Away with the intention of reading the opening paragraph just to see what it was all about. 100 pages later, I realized I had missed six emails, two phone calls, and lunch. Oh, wow. All right, then. <laughs> And I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. She is my favorite author. So that's exciting. Um, and I've a couple of people that I watch on YouTube 
have read this recently and I was like you know what I was gonna pick up one of her books every month until I got them all from book of the month and I realized this is the only one I think this is the only one that I had left to get so I'm excited for that one just don't let that be an instruction manual <laughs> how to walk away you ain't going nowhere <laughs> okay are we almost done I got one more left one more I okay. read this one oh okay this is Ruth Ware the it girl Yes, this was her release last year. It is a mystery, and it says, In this story of secrets with a life of their own, a return to college stomping grounds reveals the lies that bind us. It's over 400 pages, a famous author, it's unsettling, and it's about female friendships. Do you like it? I liked it. I did. I was trying to remember. So I have read one, or no, I've read two Ruth Weir books before, and yeah, I was really interested in this one and thought I'd pick up another one. Yeah, I'm on a Ruth Ware kick right now. Are you? Now? Yeah. All right. And my last book is Salt to the Sea by Rita Sepetis. And I've read from this author once before last year and absolutely loved the book that I read. I can't remember the title right now. Oh, gosh. It was amazing, though. I loved it. Um, and this one is historical fiction. So what is this one about? It's a young adult. When tragedy strikes, we learn how humanity can prevail even in the darkest hours. It says, Winter 1945, four teenagers, four secrets, each one born with a different homeland, each one hunted and haunted by tragedy, lies, and war. Um, so the one, I wish I could remember what book of hers that I read last year, but it was another historical fiction, um, young adult. That was, it was so impactful. I loved it so much. And I've heard amazing things about this one. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up as well. Whenever I saw that Book of the Month had it. So, and I love the cover. Like, it's so, like, it's so pretty. I really love it. So, I'm, it I'm looks excited like Lost at Sea. It does look like it. Okay, and then the last thing in our boxes is our bookmark this month. Every month you get a bookmark with a very funny phrase on it. And this one says, In the, in the Throes of Hope. Pros. pros. <laughs> in the throes of pros. I'm having trouble reading right now, which is unfortunate. <laughs> so th that was our selections, or my selections. Put that down. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I earned it. It's mine. <laughs> so those are our book selections for the month of September. Like I said, we are halfway through the month. We've had this box for a while, but somebody went out of town. I had to. I had to go take care of my grandbabies. So leave a comment down below. Let us know if you have read any of these or if you selected any of these or what did you select if you do have book of the month. They have some really great options and I love going back. Like if there's books that I'm unsure about, I won't get until I hear feedback from the community and like, oh, this was great. Everyone's sleeping on this. That's how I found The Wishing Game, which is like my favorite book I've read so far this year and so many others that I've come to love uh, based on other people. So that's going to do it for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.